Alright, so now we're going to start your winter arc. Next 90 days, our lives and we want to move forward, we want to level up all that good shit. I got eight tips that I think will really help you, will benefit you. Tip number one is to take weekly projects for us. Make a new folder into your into your photos app. Make a new, completely brand new folder. This is the folder that's going to house all your weekly pictures. Every week, same day every week, you're going to take a progress photo. Shirtless, and, and shorts, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. You take the picture, you're going to take the same style picture every single week until the winter arc is over. Doing this weekly photo will keep you on track. This week we thought it would keep you accountable. So that's the first one. Just stay tuned because I got seven more tips for you. The second thing I want to talk about, eat the frog. Do the hard thing first. Get out the way. Whatever it is that you've been saying that you need to focus on and accomplish and, and figure out, you need to do the hardest thing about it first. The easiest thing about saying you want to be a YouTuber is, uh, I need to go buy this, I need to buy that, and I don't have this, so I can't start this, or I can't do this. How about you just make some videos? That's the, this, there's no if, and, or but, or any way around it. You say you wanna work out, you say you wanna get in shape, oh, I don't have any protein powder, I don't have a gym membership, oh, whatever the excuse is, let's get rid of it and let's take care of the hardest thing. The third thing I want you to do is to go ghost. It's time to go ghost, it's time to tighten up, it's time to get that circle small. I need you to take this time to communicate with people who propel you only, right? This is a temporary thing, it's not long term. I'm not telling you to stop talking to everyone you know. What I am saying is most people don't have anything to propel you. Most people don't have anything of worthwhile to say. Anybody calling you right now is just checking up, but they're in the way right now. Right now is the time to focus. You need to go ghost. Anyone who truly appreciates you and understands you and knows what you're going through or is aware of the type of person and personality that you are, they'll understand that you need this time to focus. And unfortunately, communication takes a lot of energy. I have cousins who call me. Right now, I just can't answer the phone. And yeah, I can make content. Yeah, I can do other things. Yeah, they can see me posting on social media, but not calling them back. And they're probably like, what's this about? Whatever their perception is of whatever I'm doing right now, it's, it's, it's none of my concern. It's a time for me to be 100% selfish because your goals require that. Your goals require this time to go after what you need to go after. Your goals require some type of solitude. We watched Vegeta go in that time chamber and really put in that work. Anyone who has a problem with you going ghost for a few months, probably shouldn't be in your life in the first place. And honestly, they aren't propelling you. I love my friends, my friends are amazing, but right now they're not what I need. They're not the people who can propel me. Shit, they barely watched this far into the video. You have friends and family right now who know what your goal is, they see that you're on your path, but they don't fully support it. Right now, they're of no help. It's all on you. Step four is create a diet and a workout routine that actually is going to work, something that you are actually going to stick to. I need you to know what your goal is. To have your physique goals, you gotta know your calories, you gotta know what you're gonna be eating every day, you gotta know what days you're going to the gym, what body parts you're supposed to be working out on. This is not a time for you to be contemplating and figure out like, what's my next workout, what should I be doing next? That's not what this time is for. You should already know. If you have no idea how much calories you're supposed to be eating every day, how much protein you're supposed to be getting every day, how you're supposed to formulate your meals, what time of day you're supposed to be eating, all that type of stuff, DM me and we get one-on-one -on -one coaching, we'll figure all that out in no, in no time. I have your routine now, I have your food and your meal plan, everything within a few days. Everything will be set up for you so that when you have, it's a no-brainer, you have no excuse. I understand how it is to be a beginner. I understand how it is to be a smaller guy in a, in a gym full of guys who they know what they're doing, they're much more intimidated than you. I have the blueprint, I have all the answers already. Number five, I need you to prioritize sleep and your immunity. This is the time where everyone's gonna get colds and sick and flu and we want to stay healthy, we want to be optimized. That means we're taking the correct supplements, that means we're taking out toxic things in our home like nonstick pans and not drinking a bunch of nasty ass tap water, all right? We're not getting our water from plastic bottles anymore, we're drinking Saratoga. I'm gonna make a whole new video about that, so either you could click up here or wait to the end of this video and I'll have it there for you to select. Number six, I want you to plan a trip. Have something to work towards, something that's more than just work out and eat right. We need to have something that's a, 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 an extended goal. I'll even tell you why. For me, I wanna go either like Alaska 
or I want to go to Netherlands or anywhere cold, right? Somewhere like Norway, anywhere cold, I want to make a trip and get out there because yes, we still want to travel. We still got to use our passport. We still got to get out. Number seven, reflect on the year you had and reflect on the year that you want to have. This doesn't mean that you don't take action and that you're sitting and pondering you're stuck in your head. A lot of us get stuck in our heads, myself included. Taking a moment to reflect, think. It's like stopping and looking both ways before crossing the street. It's not something you do for a prolonged time. You still need to get across the street. Stop, and look left, and look right, and then you keep moving. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to reflect, I want you to think. Uh, what is it that's holding me back? What is it that I'm fucking up on? What skill do I need to sharpen? Why well, have you taken all that knowledge of crypto, gizmos, gadgets, etc., and put it into monetary fucking use? You can't just keep buying the new fucking gadgets. They gotta make you some money. I haven't hit up any businesses who have a lot of money and said, hey, this is what I can do for you. It's gonna cost you $3,000 a fucking pound. And they'll go, sure thing, Johnny Dickhead. I'll send you the fucking money because you're so fucking good at what you do. Monetize it. Whatever it is that's holding you back from making a profit from your passion, I need you to reflect on what you did that you fucked up on about it and now fix it because 2024 is already here. You need to start now. All right, you need to start now before it's too late. Because if you start in 2024, it's already too fucking late. And here's the last and most important tip that I have for this winter art. Number eight is shut the fuck up. Don't tell anybody your fucking plans. Don't tell your mother. Don't tell your wife. Don't tell your daughter. Don't tell your fucking cat. Don't tell your fucking mailman. Don't tell the old lady at the gun range. Don't fucking tell anybody your fucking goals. Don't tell anybody what you're working on this year. Shut the fuck up. Shut the actual fuck up. Don't even say it to yourself in the mirror. Shut the actual fuck up. Because something gets released when we tell ourselves, because something gets released when you tell yourself that I'm gonna do this this year and I'm gonna be on and I got this. Uh, you feel like you did it already. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna eat right, or I'm about to get, I'm about to get raw, like watch. You tell everybody, yeah, I'm about to do this and you feel like you fucking done it already. You'll go and you go after it for a day or two and then guess what happens? You fall the fuck off. And why do you fall the fuck off? Because you can't shut the fuck up. No one is entitled to know what the fuck you're thinking. No matter how much they pressure you for it. My girlfriend repeatedly wants to know what's going on so that way she can help me out and further assist me. But some things I can't fucking tell her. Some things I can't give her. Sometimes I gotta... Keep it to my fucking self. Because guess what'll happen? Guess what'll happen after I say I'll do something, I fall off. Guess what happens? You know what fucking happens, there's no need to guess. People come to you later on like, yo, thought you thought you were gonna do that. Or they was like, oh, <laughs> you were gonna do that? I, I did it first. I need you to come into this black hole that we're gonna call the winter arc. I need you to come back out on the other fucking side of to let it spit you out a whole new fucking person. And if not a whole new person, a whole better person, a whole better you, the future you, right? That's what this channel is all the fucking about. You need someone to kick you in your little left nut. And I'm glad we do it. If you ever seen those videos of guys with a sign, kick me, kick me for one dollar, I'm kicking you right in the fucking nuts, nigga. In the fucking nuts. Take this time, take these tips, and really go fucking get it. Cause it's yours. But I'll, but someone else will take it if you don't go after it. And that's the fucking truth. <sighs> Until next time.